Today is Saturday, June the 5, 2021. The time is going so fast. I wait for June the whole year and June goes by as in a blink. I've got some work to do here on my builder. So just to, to catch everybody up, this is a cleanless cell builder I've been using uh, to graft into. Uh, graft stay in here for a couple days, then they go into my queen right finishers. So this has been running for uh, nine, eight or nine days now, which is not really that long, but I want to refresh the brood production and there's still lots and lots of bees in here. You know, of course, those bees are eight or nine days older than they were when they went in there. So the key to a builder is, or one of the keys to a builder is uh, young bees, lots and lots of young bees. I want to get some more young bees in here. So I want to take a look, first of all, uh, what I expect to see is a diminishing amount of capped brood. Uh, there should still be capped brood, but uh, uh, not, not as much as, as I'd like. And what I want to do is I want to take those frames out, put them elsewhere, put some capped brood and some young brood in here. The young brood emits that, that brood pheromone uh, in order to stave off the laying worker process. Uh, which happens about three weeks, so I'm nowhere near that yet, but still, we want to make sure we maintain this. I, I expect to be running this builder a while, so I want to make sure it stays fresh. So that's today's job. There is a, a placeholder of foundation in the spot where my graph frame was. I put that in there yesterday uh, when I took my graph frame out and put it in the, in the finisher here. Uh, that one had 15 out of 15 takes, so I think that was my very first 100%. It's only 15, so you know, it's a small sample size. You can take that statistic for what it's worth. Uh, so uh, take that out and take out any frames that, uh, you know, have less than ideal amount of brood. And I'm feeding them. Um, so having feed on board is not that important. I've only got six frames, five plus the builder frame. So, you know, I don't want to put anything I don't really need in there. Um, and fill it up with, with brood frames. Uh, boy, there's a lot of bees in there now. You can hardly get a frame in and out of it. There's so many bees in here. Uh, and it's, it's surprising, a queenless, how, how docile and gentle they are right now. But I'm dressed. I'm going to be shaking bees. So I didn't want to do it tough guy style. I probably wear my gloves too. And uh, I don't know where I'm going to get my new brood frames from here. But it might very well be my builders. Because these are queen right. And the queen is down here in the bottom laying. Uh, so she might have appropriate brood for me and I can cycle that in here. I don't want these to get too terribly big. Uh, so I need to keep, you know, pulling their resources out. So stick around and uh, we'll have some fun with these builders today. My first job is to assess the builder. You can hear my wife cutting the grass over here. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Look at the... These gloves. Uh, this has been a hole in my glove that's uh, been developing recently, and, and I just noticed there's a hole in this glove in a very similar spot. I wonder what's going on with that. One of those really kind of strange things. So I'm not going to take the lid off of this because there's a feeder. I'll take the feeder off. And I can feel that there's good amount of syrup still in there okay uh, I don't know if you can see that but there is a plethora of bees in here I'm gonna separate this foundation frame I'm gonna pull this I haven't seen it but you know these people they say oh, bees won't draw plastic well that's a bunch of nonsense that has more to do with the beekeeper than the bees. Bees will draw plastic, no problem. And we're going to look at this plastic foundation frame. Maybe there's nothing built on it, but maybe there is. This is only 24 hours since I put it in. So let's see. Let's see. 24 hours. What do we got? Well, maybe it's true they won't build plastic. I don't think they've done much with it. Yep. Nothing on that, really. They were all over it. 
Okay, now with the meat and potatoes. But it, bees will draw plastic. Bees won't draw plastic if there's no wax coating on it, but they won't wax, draw wax foundation if there's no wax on it either. Actually, there's quite a bit of cap brood in this frame and nectar. They're packing it away. They're packing away all that syrup that I'm feeding them. So I might have to be able to leave this for I'll have to leave this another week. Yeah, lots of cap brood here. I don't have any open brood, um, but we're not. Boy, those frames are heavy. Holy smokes. Very heavy. Very heavy frames. It's just so... There's so many bees in here. There's so many bees in here. It's so hard to manage when there's so many bees. can't even, you know, no bees are in there. They're, they're too deep on the frame. There's not much on this side, but this is one of those stupid frames that warps. Here's a queen cell. I missed that one. Uh-huh. That could ruin my plans, couldn't it? Because that's the, that's the thing with the queenless builder. You put the brood in here, and then you have to wait a few days, come back, shake all the bees off the frames, and check them for cells. Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to do that again. Because, look what we got. We have three cells here. I could take that, I could put that in a nuke, and I could harvest the royal jelly for, you know, wet grafting, whatever. My dry grafting seems to be working okay. So, looks like I'm checking all these frames again. Because you don't want unscheduled look at that another one here the buggers uh queen cells in your that's a pollen frame i'm gonna set that one down here in your builder you need to maintain control over this environment and letting them build their own cells is not Look at that. I almost feel bad cutting these out. But I can control the environment that these are produced in. And, you know, I can graft all of the cells that I'm cutting out here under better circumstances, or not better circumstances, more, more controlled circumstances, perhaps, more ideal circumstances. More consistent. Timing and all that kind of stuff. It's all about timing. It's all about doing, you know, doing batches, making sure you have X number of days. That one actually looks pretty nice. So, there we go. Got those all taken care of. I've sorted things around here a little because I want to put this pollen frame. It's, it's not packed with pollen, but it's got quite a bit. I want to put that right here next to where I'll put my graft. So this is all I need to do here. And for my next trick, I'm going to graft, I'm going to graft two bars today. 
see how that goes. I've been taking it easy on my builder. Last year I had, um, I didn't have very great success grafting. And I believe my big challenge was the uh, strength of my builder. I think I have a pretty good little builder going here. Um, and I just wanted to do one bar at a time for a few rounds just to make sure I wasn't overwhelming things. They seem to be doing really well with 15. I'm going to try 30. Try a little bigger batch. Um, I'm actually going to leave this open while I go and find a graft frame and, uh, and do a graft. I'm going to look in this, uh, this finisher though. This one's been running longer than the other. So I just want to see what she's doing down there. I have to be very careful because my cells are in the top. So I'm going to actually just crack this off. Boy, it's been hot here lately. Hot for Canada. Hot for Canadians. Now these aren't uh, these aren't capped even yet, so they're not as fragile as they will be. See the queen's walking around on there. Yeah, so I don't know. I think it's only about 28C when I came out. Um, we're just not accustomed to the heat. Ian said it was, what did he say, it was 45? Some were saying 42 down his place yesterday. I think here it got 38, something like that. Hot enough. Where's my queen wandering around there? I'm not sure that she has that lead. I'll look at this one. Oh yeah. See, when I put her down here, I had a six frame nuke. Uh, well, no, it wasn't a nuke. I moved a calling over here, six frames. And I uh, I put her in the bottom with one frame of brood. I put the rest of the brood in the top uh, so the nurse bees would migrate up. And uh, so she had five empty frames down here. And this is the frame of brood that I, I left for her. So she's definitely doing her job, you know. Geez, I can't even see the screen. I'm sorry, I just can't. So, um, so that's got a nice cap, patch of capped brood. They're they're filling that one with nectar. I don't want a lot of nectar down here. I want her to keep laying. Just lay up a storm. So these are empty. I'm gonna push this nectar one to the outside. This is Kind of a no-no. It's warm weather though. I should get away with it. So there's a little bit of brood on the inside of this one. And there's nectar on the outside. And then I'll just leave that as is. So that's just confirms to me what's going on in there. This queen excluder that's too big. And top box. While I'm here, I might as well look in the other finisher. There's not 
many bees in here. They finished my cells though. Huh, interesting. So it looks like maybe I have some work to do in this finisher. I'll maybe have to equalize some bees from there. More bees in the top. I can pull up some brood perhaps. She's been laying in that frame. So that would be a good one to bring up to the top. These nice warm days. You can get away with pulling a brood frame out for a little bit. there so I'll leave her for now so I can take these with impunity now since I know where the queen is I know you can't see much over there sorry I'm just looking for brood frames anything she's laid in I've seen the queen now I know where she is so I can take these bees and all it doesn't matter, I'm not taking them anywhere, I'm just putting them in a top box. I just want to take anything that she has laid in. I don't think she laid in that one yet. Okay, that goes to the middle. And I take some of these frames out. I'm not sure what they look like. much in there. I need to take three. So there's brood on that. There's brood on that. Well, maybe I won't get three. Oh, there's certainly nothing on that. Feeding a little bit of pollen. That's my graft frame. Uh, that's a little bit of brood and mostly pollen. So I go on the bottom. Okay, that looks a little better now. The queen excluder back. Move that box back up. Hold my graft frame with my thumbs. Don't want to mess that up. So I was uh, grafting the bottom bar here um, in an attempt to avoid webbing. Something crashing through the trees over there. And uh, so I can't say that it worked, but see, they built that comb up on top. Maybe it did. Nine, ten, eleven. That's right. I remember there was eleven acceptances on there. I'm going to cut that off, slow them down a bit on that comb building idea. I think it'd be nice to have open brood next to the cells. To have those very young jelly producing bees right on the right on the job right next door. Pulled that. I thought maybe there was brood on it, but 
Ну вот. That right there. Okay. Leave it like that for a while. Uh, those cells come out tomorrow and go in the incubator. And the first round of cells comes out of the incubator tomorrow and goes into nukes. I started making nukes here the other day. I have a few more to make. And then we'll put those new cells in the nukes that I make. But my next order of business is to graft into this into this builder there. I'm not going to bore you with that. It's not very interesting to see. I have video on me doing grafting and that's why I know it's not very interesting to see. So uh, I'm just going to graft a couple of bars and I'll come back and slide that in there. Okay, I've got 30 cells here. 30, 30 grafted cell cups. And just slide that nice and carefully down in there. So it kind of goes down by itself. It's just sitting on the bees. Tighten this up a little bit. Truth be told, I can't see very well. I took my, uh, I took one of my contacts out. I forgot to wear my glasses over here. And uh, so now I can only see clearly in my left eye right now. And I can see really closely in my right eye. That's not very helpful. So I gotta put this back together now. I have to put the uh, feeder back over on here. Uh, the finishers are doing their job. I'll be taking some cells out of the finisher tomorrow. And on we go. So let's hope that these uh, 30 cells get built up real nice. And turn into 30 really nice queens. And that's all for now. So long from uh, sweltering Manitoba. <laughs> Have fun.